In this video, I present a case of an unusual psychodialysis cleft. These traumatic iris tears look like iridodialyses, except that you can see right into the suprachoroidal space. Why is this not a regular cyclodialysis cleft? Well, with a cyclodialysis cleft, iris root and ciliary body are detached from the sclera. This iris is torn but not detached. But does this really matter? The eye is very soft. It matters because the suprachoroidal space should not be visible through an iridodialysis. It implies that there's a communication between the posterior chamber and the suprachoroidal space. In other words, closing the holes in the iris will not restore the IOP, explaining why three previous closure attempts have failed. Judging by the angle recession severe enough to cause marked iridodonesis, this eye has suffered heavy trauma. To restore the IOP, the ciliary body must be reattached to sclera behind the iris independently of the iridodialysis. This will be easier to achieve with open cyclopexy, though it might be possible with partial thickness external approach and endoscopy. Please watch for further updates and thank you very much for your attention.